and I never expected to end up on the Sunshine Coast or visiting Birwa. But sure enough, driving by, there was this little tiny sign and this little tiny zoo, and I thought, I'll just go in to check it out. I went through the gate, and Australia Zoo opened up into these beautiful gardens and happy animals, and then there was a crocodile demonstration going on with this guy. This man was in with a crocodile talking about animals the way you talk about what you had for lunch. And now I'm going to feed this huge crocodile. Isn't he a little beauty? The man was saying. And I thought, well, I never really thought of crocodiles as beautiful, but I'll have a look. And I stood and listened to him talk about crocodiles, that they were passionate lovers and beautiful mothers and what special animals they were. I thought, hang on, I've never heard anyone talk like that. And then he handed the crocodile some food. It came screaming out of the water, grabbed the piece of food, and he was as calm as if he was mailing a letter in a letterbox. I was sold. I thought, this man is the most incredible guy I have ever seen. He's probably married. He's got to be taken. When I saw Terry in the crowd, I looked up and our eyes met. And my heart just went bang, 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 just started thumping. It was love at first sight. I know this sounds like it's coming out of some Mills and Boone love novel, but it's true. Love at first sight. Next thing, whoa, I remembered where I was. Agro's trying to kill me. So I wound up the demo. Yep, thanks for coming. And then she stayed back and talked to me. He said hello, and I think I said something really clever like hi. And crikey, our love just went ballistic. And at that precise moment, Lori took a photograph of us. Now, that photo I still have to this day, and it is the funniest moment. I don't know if there's many married couples who have a photo of the exact moment they first met, but I'm lucky enough to have that shot.